I want answers. The message from hundreds of KXAN viewers this week and counting. All Textag customers, all fed up with customer service. The hoops you have to jump through to get someone to work with you. Complaints resurface with the state's tollway billing system. Those fees start to apply and they can add up very quickly. After the Texas Department of Transportation first promised to fix it two years ago. If you're gonna build a toll road, it better work the way people expect it to. Welcome to a special edition of State of Texas. I'm Josh Hinkle, joining you from Interstate 35, right through the heart of downtown Austin, one of the most congested stretches of highway in the nation, just blocks away from your lawmakers at the state capitol. Like you, many of them travel with toll roads to avoid this traffic nightmare. And here in Central Texas, we have plenty of options, a maze of tollways, some causing a lot of frustration. From 2015 to today, many of you tell us text tag payment process on roads like that has actually become worse and has you facing major fees. Nearly 30% of text tag accounts have had a bill sent to collections this year alone. We've discovered new vendors and an aggressive collections agency, part of this web of frustrations for millions of text tag customers. Text.TextTag, text tag, Chase Source, former contractor Xerox, Conduit, a Houston law firm. No wonder so many of you have reached out to us because you can't get a straight answer about your accounts. Like having bills sent to the wrong address and facing fees for not paying or getting charged for a vehicle you don't own. Or like this next woman, our Brittany Glass met, who says she was sent to collections while waiting for customer service to help. For years, Mila Louvier says she enjoyed the convenience of the text tag system. She could drive through tolls with no hassle. And text tag simply drew money automatically from her bank. Then this spring, she started noticing some unexpected charges. So she reached out to Textag customer service. And calls to them haven't been helpful. Louvier says she phoned repeatedly, waiting more than a month just to get a call back from someone who could resolve her problem. Those calls just didn't come until it was way too late, until they had sent 95% of our account to collections. In just a short two-month span, her initial $400 bill had shot up by more than $5,700 in administration fees. And soon, a collections company was demanding she pay up. I do feel like this is a goal of their customer service to send people into collections and get as much money off of these fees as they can. Thank you for calling Textag Customer Service. Louvier is not alone. This year, more than 2.2 million Textag accounts have been sent to collections, racking up nearly a billion dollars in fees for drivers. Linda Sexton heads up toll operations at TxDOT and says those fees can add up fast. Isn't it a problem if nearly 30% of all TxTag accounts are in collections? Well, it's not in necessarily indicative of a problem. It's very clearly drawn out how a transaction escalates through the process and the applicable fees that will be applied if those notices go unanswered. It's heartbreaking to listen to those kind of calls every day. And it's all day long. This former Textag customer service representative asked us to conceal her identity if she agreed to share what happened when she took her concerns about calls to management. They do not care if you have a problem with it. That's your job. You do what they say or you can leave. They don't care. And so you left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd rather leave than work for a company like that. I'm not going to work for them. And when she left, she took her employee manual. It says workers must keep their call times to just five and a half minutes, including hold time. What happens if the issue is too complex to be able to be resolved in under five and a half minutes? I, uh, there's going to be those instances, and we will certainly take the time that is necessary to ensure that we answer all of the questions and that we answer it to the customer satisfaction. Still, customer service reps are given a quota at least 80 calls per day to collect as many payments as possible. But to never inform customers if their accounts are in collections, which might mean they owe a lot more. They're paying and they're thinking that they're paying their bill, which to me is even more deceitful.
Why are people sitting on hold? When the contractor hired to collect those bills didn't meet customer service expectations in 2015, it was penalized $177,000 by the state. The message? Shorter wait times and fewer frustrations. Thank you for calling the TechStack Customer Service Center. Your request could not be processed. The outcome? New problems and uncertainty TechStack will ever fix the system. It's going to take another agency to go through and fix it. They're never going to do it on their own. It needs to be changed now. That customer service rep is not alone. We spoke with a handful of others who all had similar stories. All of them say that something has got to change. We've learned that change could come with the attorney general's office. That's absolutely right. Over the years, it's received plenty of complaints about the text tag system, but if it receives enough, its consumer division could possibly investigate. And that is exactly what one state lawmaker tells us he hopes will happen. Coming up, we share your concerns with Representative Tony Dale of Cedar Park, who has two toll roads in his district. And now he's calling for a complete overhaul of the text tag system. The state should be in the business of making it easy on drivers to drive, not making it harder. If you've reached out to text tag customer service for answers about your bill, but had no luck, we want to know. Check out the homepage of KXAN.com. Click on I Want Answers. Tell us about your experience with customer service and upload your bill. TextDot tells us it will review and help get to the bottom of the bills we send them. We'll be right back. We're not allowed to tell them that they have uh, account and collections, so if they don't know about it, they're not going to pay it. Keeping certain account information from Textag customers and mandated call times. Earlier, you met this former Textag customer service employee who says she quit her job because it was unethical and not helping customers resolve their bills. After learning 2.2 million customer accounts have been sent to collections this year alone, one lawmaker tells our Brittany Glass enough is enough and that the system should have been fixed two years ago when problems first surfaced. There are still technology problems and it seems baffling to people that you can't get it right. There are two major toll roads running through the heart of Representative Tony Dale's Central Texas District. He says they've been a problem and they still are. We've got a large number of um, constituents that drive on the roads on a daily basis and um, we hear complaints weekly without question. Including complaints about text tag customer service. You would hope that um, someone makes a call for a complaint, it's handled in a timely manner and um, you know, no matter who gets the call, they should be able to address it. Until the problems are fixed, Representative Dale vows he won't drive on toll roads in Texas and proposes a complete system overhaul. I think Texas needs a wholly different way to look at this. Myself and other members of the legislature are going to be asking the speaker to have the transportation committee look at this specific problem. And it looks like the Speaker of the House is already taking notice. We learned in just the few days since we first started telling viewers about our investigation this week, Speaker Joe Strauss added toll transparency and stakeholder responsiveness to a list of issues he wants lawmakers to study before the next session. He wants recommendations on how to improve oversight of the system. Representative Dale says one idea he'll pitch is bring all of these toll operations under one single entity. Yeah, and we've learned that as many as six entities have been involved in the text tag process this year alone. He says that change could mean not only a smoother process for customers, but also more transparency. All right, thank you, Brittany. Text tag officials tell us that their system is already a good one, that their workers go through extensive training for two weeks to make the process as smooth as possible. They go through an additional week of shadowing customer service representatives who are taking live calls. So they go through almost a month long training session before they're allowed to even speak directly to customers. Text tag says it's also made changes in its customer service and call centers since problems first surfaced a few years ago. 
There are also extended call hours, but we've learned one of the reasons it's risen to this level of frustration is because it appears Texas has no current law saying how much a collections agency can charge overall for a text tag bill. Lawmakers did cap certain fees, though, in this last legislative session. Under Senate Bill 312, the new monthly text tag fee is set at $4 per invoice for tolls 30 days past due, with an annual cap of $48. Representative Ina Menares, who helped push this consumer protection amendment, says it holds toll authorities responsible. At what point do you stop taking advantage of, of people just because you're looking at money and wanting to bring in that revenue? It's just wrong. Uh, you know, we need to make sure that we treat the public fairly. Despite the new law, the latest meeting of the Texas Transportation Commission, which sets toll fees statewide, showed not everyone agrees with the new caps. Driving on a toll road is a choice. And it, for those who choose to get on there should have to pay and we should be able, we should be entitled to recovering our cost uh, and the f uh, fees that, the, that are associated. Still, commissioners approve the motion and the caps take effect early next year. It's important to remember, though, that these caps appear to only apply to late fees and accounts that have not yet gone to collections. It's unclear whether it applies to every toll road in the state or just TxDOT operated toll roads. The attorney general has been asked to weigh in with an opinion, but that has not come down just yet. Coming up, our political roundtable debates the challenges of a toll system in a state this big and what other options lawmakers have to tackle toll problems in the upcoming legislative session. Next on this special edition of State of Texas.